What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to deliver another general reading for my collective booze. So please come on in, okay? Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments. Special thank you to my booze who have hit up my tip jar. If you've hit me up with my cash app, PayPal, if you've hit that super thanks button below and drop me off a little piece of change, thank you so much. I really appreciate the reciprocity that you give the channel, okay? Um, I will be doing a general reading for you all. It's not a one-to-one. -one. All right, only take what resonates, all right? If you want to schedule a one-to-one -one with me, you can do so. I will leave my links below in the description um, for everything A. Nicole. My blogs, my online membership, my podcast, my brands, um, how to book a, a session with me, a, a birth chart analysis, human design analysis, all of that. All right, so let's get into the reading in the meantime, in between time. Thank you for these messages in advance, spirit. Let's see, what do we have here? It says, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Mm, so somebody could be... There could be a jealous girl in our town. Y'all could be dealing with a, a hater, an evil queen. You know, somebody who is giving you uh, a salt, you know, but passing it off as sugar. Sundress, it says, do it for you. Okay. Some of y'all need to uh, put that sundress on. It's sundress season. The sundress says, do it for you. Thank you, spirit. What else do we have? Oops. Thank you for that. Okay. Clover, release your guilt. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, 40, morning, the war the morning, or what is this? Yeah, morning, the world awaits you. I love these. I love these. I love these. Okay. Bottom of the deck, throne, your potential is endless. Okay. And 222 was on the clock when I'm... Um, I said that. So let's talk about this evil queen. Let's talk about this whole asshole right here and see what the hell is going on with that. Evil queen, sundress, do it for you. Clover, release your guilt. Oh, let me see. Can you... One second, y'all, so y'all can see what I got going on. What I got going on. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about Clover. I mean, Evil Queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Let's clarify that. Let's see what the fuck is going on with that. Because I don't like the way that sounds. If the messages are resonating for you, please, please, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. Okay, Evil Queen, it says you deserve sugar, not salt. Spirit, what are we talking about that? Tell me more about this Evil Queen. Mm, moon card in reverse. Moon card in reverse. Okay. This could be a cancer placement, or you could be a cancer placement. Okay, some of you all could be finding the truth out about someone who you thought was your friend, but you found out was a salty ass bitch. Hmm. Something that came to the surface. Ooh, something that came to the surface about something, a deception, lies, you know, hmm. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you all have walked away from someone. You all have put some distance between you and someone. You've detached and you've left someone behind. Some, someone who was very salty to you. You know, you could have thought that things were sweet. Come to find out shit was not eight of pentacles. They could have been jealous of your hard work. Hmm. An earth sign could be prominent, eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be someone at your job. Someone, you know, a co-worker or a boss or something. They could, be, they could have been trying to sabotage your career, sabotage your opportunities, sabotage your work ethic, 
Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Mm. And Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Ooh. This person could have been very jealous of the way you maneuver shit. The opportunities you have. You could be to them to them it could seem that, you know, you're making money hand over fist. You know, they feel like spirit is always gifting you with things. Spirit is always blessing you with things. Hmm. And this person could have faked the fake. Oh, and nine of cups. And it seems like you get your wishes fulfilled. You seem blessed. You always got it going on. You don't ever struggle in their mind. I'm saying in their mind. I mean, the shit it may not be true. You may have, you know, your times. I mean, we fucking all do. We're all human. But I don't know. Sometimes people just think that, you know, because you're insecure about yourself, that that makes me obsolete of going through the same shit that you do. You know, because you've put me up on this pedestal in your fucking head. You know, but, you know, you 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 could probably have a lot of your wishes come true. You know, you're very blessed. You're very fulfilled. You seem like you have a great life. And you probably do. You do, I want to say seem. You, I'm just saying from the other person's point of view. You know, and you have a lot of people, um, you know, or, or a particular person in your energy that don't like that shit. They don't like that shit at all. They about to drop a dime on you. Okay, and they was they was they was they was giving you salt and not sugar. You know they could have been hating with this evil witch. You could have picked up on or evil queen. You could have picked up on, you know their their nastiness, their jealousy. Ace of Swords. What I tell you, Ace of Swords talks about clarity, seeing the truth. Mm hmm. Using your mind, your intellect coming through with you. And with that Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords also talks about prosperity. It talks about success. It talks about winning battles. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know, this person could have even been taking it so far with this evil queen to be manifesting bad shit for you. Shit, even spell work. And spirit was like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm, let me show you what the fuck it ain't. Okay. Six of what I tell you. Let me show you what the fuck it ain't. Six of wands in reverse. This talks about defeat. <laughs> Something being unsu unsuccessful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a delay. You know, receiving no recognition. You know, or, or bad recognition. You getting a bad reputation. <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. Yeah, whoever been fucking trying to uh, uh, form a, a, a weapon against you, maybe that shit has not been prospering. Look at that. Ace of Swords to the Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they haven't been victorious with that shit. Spirit been keeping you covered, keeping you blessed. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for keeping my booze covered and blessed and away from the fuck shit okay now let's talk about sundress it says do it for you 41 4 plus 1 is 5 you could talk about some sort of change you could be contemplating a change contemplating a transition you know and you could be considering everybody and anybody that you have no motherfucking business and spirit is saying do this shit for you it could be going somewhere sundress going somewhere mmm there's another five. Yeah, some sort of change you're going through. Hierophant talks about lessons. It talks about having new beliefs, you know, new commitments, leveling up, right? Changing your values, you know? So what? some of you all are, are at a crossroads or needing to make a decision, you know, or have some sort of move they want to make, you know, but they're going off of, you know, what other people are going to think. And y'all know, look, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. You know, the Hierophant, you know, is about higher learning. The Hierophant is about institutions, you know, so some of you all could be, I don't know, like, 
You could be at a crossroads about doing something that's based off of your philosophies, based off of, you know, an institution, a job. You know, the values. Does your values align with the values of X, Y, and Z? And spirit is like, it don't even fucking matter. Do it for you. Okay, page of swords. Something about some sort of news, some sort of messages, something about your, your something you analyze, an idea, something you've thought up, something in your mind, something in your head, you know, the page of swords talks about being ambitious, being quick with it, being quick with the knife, you know, being quick with the, with the, with the sword, you know, this is also the spy card. You know, the nosy card, the jealousy card. Some of you all have a lot of eyes on you. You have a, a lot of people trying to put their input in your fucking life. Trying to motherfucking be the so, the spokesperson for your motherfucking life and shit. Tell them that shit was never put, don't put on fucking Craigslist. You never put that job up on motherfucking Indeed. What the fuck they applying for? You don't need that shit in your fucking life. Do, do shit for you. Not based off of what other people are trying to input or you afraid of how other people are going to see you. Especially something about that social media. Empress, Knight of Pentacles. A lot of you all need to recognize your divinity with this Empress. There's only one you. Okay, the Empress is divine feminine. The Empress is... You know, divine through and motherfucking through. The Empress is very valuable. The Empress knows her worth. Okay? So, that's what we need you to be aligning in. We don't need you to be pussyfooted. We don't need you to be half-assing anything. We need you to be stepping into your worth, your value, your divinity, and doing shit for you. You are the goddess. Okay? You are a Venusian goddess. People come to you with gifts. People come to you with things. You attract. You don't go out there getting in the motherfucking field. That's not what a fucking empress does. When motherfuckers come to you, they need to have a coin in their motherfucking hand. Figuratively, literally, all the motherfucking leaves. The fuck? Three of cups. Nine of Wands. Mm, Nine of Wands talks about being very vigilant. <sighs> you know, that talks about the wounded warrior having, not giving up, having the, the, the heart of, the heart of, or the courage of a lion. You know, not giving up. Like, Spirit is telling you, don't give up. If a lot of you all are in some sort of a, a energy where you're a bit sad, you know, you're not seeing yourself for who you really are. You know, you're not feeling your best self. You're not feeling your 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 most beautiful self. It's temporary. It's temporary. Do not give up. Do not give up. Your time is coming. Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, look at you. A lot of you all feel like you've had some sort of a missed opportunity. A lot of you all are sulking, disappointed. You know, down bad, down in your feelings that you're missing out on what spirit is trying to give you. And spirit is trying to give you, look, that big ass motherfucking cup. Fit for a queen, fit for a king. You know, for a lot of you, it could be shit coming to you in a dream. You're not paying attention to your dreams. These dreams are trying to propel you forward with this queen of cups. Some of you all are getting downloads, you know more love, more self-love, you know, more great vibes, more healing. A lot of you all, especially with that hierophant, you know, you're 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 really 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 tapping into your intuitive magic, your intuitive power. Ace of Wands is in reverse now, but I feel like a lot of you all are holding back. There's some sort of block. There's some sort of delay. Some of you all like I say you're worried about the wrong shit. You're worried about the wrong motherfucking people. This is your life. Get your ass out there. A lot of you all have been procrastinating with this ace of wands. Some of y'all coming down under do it for you are waiting on people, waiting on your friends, waiting on... If you don't... Y'all lucky I can't come through the screen. Y'all lucky. Because I would be... Listen. Mm -mm. Release your guilt. Let's talk about that. What's going on? Clover. Release your guilt. Some of you all may have guilt 
regarding you and a feminine, you know, you and an old friend, you know, a, a feminine family member, loved one, I don't know, let's see, release your guilt, tell me more about that five of swords, five of swords talks about being selfish, trying to win at all costs, not being considerate, you know, it can talk about mental conflict, mental manipulation, you know, playing games, playing in people's face, you know, for some of you, the guilt can be around you doing this to someone, you know, and sometimes this can come from releasing your guilt about allowing someone to do it to you, you know, not, not, not not seeing the signs, not not being vigilant on, you know, people trying to hurt you, people trying to one-up you, or people trying to get over on you. You may have lost something. You may have been humiliated about something, been defeated, failed at something, something not good. And Spirit is saying, release that guilt. And put that motherfucking work in for next time. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, release that guilt and put and, and, and get back in the field. Okay, get back to work. Get back on working on yourself, honing your craft, doing better, being a better person, leveling up. Release that fucking guilt. Somebody could be dealing with guilt as it surrounds you. They could have been working hard to play games. Working hard to 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 distract you, to confuse you, to stress you out, to knock you off your square. Three of Wands. But Spirit is telling you, release your guilt from whatever that shit is and get the fuck out here. Three of Wands. Look, in the car, the person has their back turned. Their back is turned to their past and they're looking forward to that world that's out there. Them ships that are coming in for them. You know, Three of Wands talks about expanding, being one step away from success. That's why Spirit is telling you don't give up. You know, the Three of Wands talks about committing yourself to completing something. And in this case, I feel like it's your it's your healing. You know, get, get over those memories. You know, whatever it is that are holding you back, come through. Okay? Three of Wands also talks about exploring new territories, meeting new people, getting out into the world, temperance in reverse. As I say that, this came out and it's in reverse. The temperance card is a Sagittarius card, which is about expansion, travel, getting out there, exploring new territories, you know, gaining new perspectives through your experiences. You know, that, 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 that'll tweak your philosophy on life. Okay? The temperance card is in reverse. Spirit is telling me, y'all, a lot of you all are in disharmony. You're out of balance. Okay? You could be dealing with some addictions. You know, trying to cover up for whatever the guilt is. Trying to escape the guilt, the pain. Spirit is saying your mind is out of balance. Your body is out of balance. Eight of swords in reverse. Release that guilt, baby. Spirit say you're awakening. You're in the beginning of an awakening. Break free from those bondages you've been in. Spirit is trying to wake you up and liberate you. Okay? Come out of that analysis paralysis. Four of swords. A lot of you all been in the coffin. Just quiet. You know, something happened to you, you know, some sort of heartbreak, some sort of pain, suffering. The spirit is saying, release that shit and move on. Get out of your head. A lot of y'all are still in your head about it. Let that shit go. Okay. Let me say morning. The world awaits you. I love this. Tell me more about morning for my booze. If the messages are resonating for you, please, please, please don't forget to give the girl, your girl, uh, the video a, a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. All right? The morning awaits. Six of Cups came out again. I think that came out in the last reading. Hmm? Or was it this one? No, it was the last reading. Yeah, the morning awaits you. Six of Cups talks about memories, nostalgia. 
Okay, thinking of the past. Oh, sorry. It talks about your childhood, your inner child, queen of swords, so the six of cups. For a lot of you, a lot of you have been talking about you know, your memories, your, 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 your past, your inner child shit, you know, a lot of you all have been dealing with a lot of that, you know, depression, whatever those things were, you know, and I feel like a lot of you all have been dealing with the baggage from your past memories, like all of those things, things that you thought about, you know, the things that consumed your mind with this Queen of Swords to the, the, the Six of Cups. Like, Spirit is like, listen, there's life after all of that shit. You have a new morning that awakes you every day. Every day is a second chance at life. And I feel like a lot of you all are walking into that. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Ten of Pentacles talks about getting material success. You know, achievements. Some sort of foundation. Especially after some sort of loss you had. Some sort of emotional loss. Some sort of thing that you've been mourning. You've been regretful about. That's why Spirit is saying release that guilt. Joy come in the morning. Release that guilt of whatever the fuck this is. That has you in this five of cups energy. Whatever this emotional loss was for you. Something you've been mourning. You know, something you've been in despair about. Something that's had you a little heart heavy. Release that shit. And understand that morning greets you. And that's a second chance at life. A second chance at experiences. Healing. All of the fucking above. Hangman. What I tell you. Pisces energy. Okay. This talks about spiritual growth. Get, get looking at things from a different perspective. Making the necessary sacrifices. Awakening. Okay. Hmm. Six of Swords. Moving away. Making peace from shit. And moving away. Spirit is telling you to move away into calmer waters. Release your guilt. You know, it can't be fun dealing with, you know, all of that feeling trapped in your head, trapped in your mind. You know, being depressed, being stuck in the past. You know, and as a result, shit being blocked for you and stuff like that. That can't feel good, baby. Release that shit. Release them hating ass motherfuckers. You know, who are preying on your downfall. Okay? Use your discernment. You have a high priestess come out. Use your discernment. You know, and see what motherfuckers is on the up and up for you and what you're on the down low. Okay? And and you don't need to have that shit around you. Alrighty? For real. I'm going to leave it here. I hope these messages have brought you some clarity, some comfort, some closure, whatever it was you were looking for. Okay, remember that your potential is endless. All right? You can sit on many thrones. You're multifaceted. All right? And for that, I'm rooting for you. Oh, wow. And you're, 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 you're abundant. You know, you're going to have material success. You know, you just got to let go a lot of that shit from your past. Deal with it, talk it out, whatever, and move on. All right? Because you have a huge legacy ahead of you that spirit is trying to gift you with. And you don't need to be coming off no bullshit like this. Okay? Let's see. Um, Thank you so much again for tuning in, y'all. I really appreciate Y'all spending time with me, letting me channel these messages for you. Okay, I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all. And I'm here for y'all. I don't play no games when it comes to y'all. Okay, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Okay, uh, I want you to keep your head up. You know you better keep that motherfucking bread up. And please, please, please keep these hoes fed up. So shut the fuck up. All right, I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'll catch you on another video. Bye-bye.